So to begin our recipe for today, you want to take a bit of extra virgin olive oil in a pan and you want to make sure that the pan is one that you can use on the stove top as well as put in the oven because at the very end we're going to be broiling our shrimp dish. And go ahead and preheat your oven to broil. Now we added our shrimp and I used the deveined and cooked shrimp. It also has the tails off as well as about three tablespoons of minced garlic. If you're not using fresh garlic, I wasn't. You also have your Tony Chachari's Creole seasoning. Use that in place of salt because it does have salt in it as well as black pepper and you want to make sure that you get it nice and seasoned and saute the garlic, the shrimp, and your seasoning together. Okay, now that we've gotten that all sauteed, the seasonings have gotten into the shrimp, you've sauteed your garlic a little bit, you're going to go ahead and add one half cup of low fat, low sodium, chicken broth. This is your fresh parsley as well as your scallions chopped up. You're going to add that to the mixture and you're going to saute all of that. Now we've gotten it nice and sauteed. We've brought it to a boil that only takes about three minutes roughly and here's what it should look like. Turn it down to a simmer and we're going to add just a tiny bit of breadcrumbs, not a lot, just about one eighth of a cup, if not less. After you add the breadcrumbs, you're going to put it in the oven to boil for about two minutes. And the purpose of the breadcrumbs is to thicken up the broth just a little bit to make it more like a soup or a stew. You're not adding a lot because you don't want to add a lot of extra calories. And that's what it looks like after you put it in the broiler for about two minutes. Thickened up and add a little bit, just a squeeze of lemon juice. Now here's the finished product ready to eat. What I've done is steamed some brown rice as well as some chopped spinach. After that was finished, I mixed up the rice and the spinach. It's only about a third cup of brown rice. Put that around the edge of my bowl and dished out just a little bit of the garlic shrimp mixture in the middle. The rice, the spinach, the shrimp together is awesome. Dribble a little bit of the broth around the edges and you're ready to eat. As usual the nutrition information will follow. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time.